The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com. We can hear that playing in the background. That's lovesongs247.com, which is actually one of the most popular internet radio stations around at the moment. And uh, I'm joined today by Mark, who's actually one of their musical directors. Hello, Mark. Yeah, How, you do- hi, Ross. How you doing? Yeah, good. Happy Christmas. And to you. Now, we're talking today about music and dating. Um, because if you're having a date and you've invited somebody back for a meal or... Mm-hmm you're out and about or whatever music is very very important to sort of set the mood and the atmosphere would you agree yeah absolutely um good thing about love songs is that you can just let it play um it's great music don't have to keep getting up and changing your cds um it's good music right the way through so just leave it on in the background as you say sets a mood um and it's great to listen to okay so how do you select the music? What's your process? Because I've listened to it quite a bit, and um, it's very different from other uh, other stations around. Yeah, absolutely. We probably um, deliberately um, make ourselves different because I think the public generally know what they're going to get from from a lot of radio stations uh, when they tune into love songs. Um, it's quite different. You're not going to get, um, you know, the most mainstream songs, but what you are going to get is just really good music, and that can come from the '60s, the '70s, right up to modern day. But we tr- we try and um, showcase a lot of music, good music that maybe people haven't heard for a while or don't hear very often. Um, and there are some great tracks there. We've got uh, three and a half thousand tracks, um, and it's my job really to make sure every single track is great. Um, so I'm constantly looking at our playlist, uh, constantly refreshing it, uh, adding in new music, but also adding in from, from artists that people might have forgotten. And also, um, as well as playing sort of the, the great tracks from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, yep. you know, um, you know, today's music, you play new music as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I th- we, we do sort of pride ourselves on researching new music we're always looking out for new music and if it fits the uh the style that we're trying to uh to sort of portray then we'll add it in um and quite often we we may even be one of the first to play okay and um you're linked to a dating website yep love songs 24 7 dating.com yep. um the idea behind that is what so that people when they're browsing on that dating site can listen while they're looking around at people yeah it's perfect because you've got one site where you can listen to really good music but you've also on the same site um you can be looking through potential dates so um again it sets a good mood it relaxes people um and you know while they're chatting online um they're listening to great music and obviously everyone can listen to it online anyway so yeah absolutely uh, even uh, a lot of cars have got bluetooth um, capacity now so i quite often just link my phone to my my uh, bluetooth radio and i can listen to it on the go and um you've been listened to am i right in saying in every single country in the world yeah that's correct yeah we, we've got um quite sophisticated stats so we know exactly where we listen to um for how long by how many people um yeah every single country including um the vatican which is an interesting one i think the pope is actually a manic street <laughs> preachers <laughs> fan um i can't verify that but no it's it's um it's something to be proud of. You know, every single country in the world has listened to the to the station. And did you say you're on course for, is it a third of a million yeah. listen, listeners this year? Yeah, well, we, um, again, we keep an eye on the stats, but we, we, we sort of beat last year's um, number of sessions in November. So, um, or the end of October. So November and December, we're just... Um, we're just sort of, you know, really running ahead now. So, yeah, it's, it's on course to do about a third of a million, which okay. is um, incredible. Yeah, really. that's good. And also, um, you're starting to take a little bit of advertising. Yep. That, that's a tricky one for you because, obviously, you don't want to disrupt the flow of the music. Yeah, but again, I think we do it in the right way. We, we, we're not peppered with advertising because that, that can... I know for a lot of radio stations, that's that's an income, but um, it can be a huge interruption um, and you can get 
very tired very quickly of listening to the same adverts. So we try and um, limit it so we don't have masses of advertising. Um, and we try and sort of, you know, insert the, the advertising um, in the right place in, in the playlist so that it doesn't really disrupt too much. Yeah, and the adverts are played individually, just, yeah. just once. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, yeah. one at a time, as it were, rather than in a big block of yeah. three minutes or two minutes. Yeah, again, that's very deliberate because uh, an advertiser knows that they're not in a section with other advertisers. You know, so their advert goes out completely on its own. So anyone listening is only going to focus on their advert. And, um, yeah, I mean, and you would recommend as well when people are on a date, yeah. put it on in the background. I mean, I can hear David Bowie yeah. playing now. And before that, obviously, you know, we've had yeah. track after track after track. It's, it's so varied. Yeah, it's um, it's just very cool. Um, I think, you know, it's it's quite hard to define cool, but... I would say listen to, to love songs, um, and that is the definition of cool music. And you can have that playing. Um, it's not it's not going to jar with anyone, um, you know, um, if you've got a particular like of one genre of music. Um, that might not be, you know, the, your date's particular like. But with love songs, you can't really fault it. It's just cool music. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, you don't play the sort of birdie song and... <laughs> stuff like that no uh no no, no okay. I'd, be, I'd, I'd be nothing against people that love the birdie song but it just doesn't fit what i'm trying yeah, to do absolutely <laughs> okay thanks very much mark the dating show brought to you by alderdatingonline.com